क्वेश्चन 152 विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉज एन इंक्रीज इन सोडियम रीअब्जॉर्बशन इन द डिस्टल कॉन्वोल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल नाउ द डीसीटी अंडरगोस फैकल्टेटिव रीअब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ वाटर एंड एनए इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ हार्मोन्स नाउ सोडियम रीअब्जॉर्बशन डिपेंड्स ऑन द लेवल ऑफ एल्डोस्टेरोन सो हियर द फर्स्ट चॉइस सेज इंक्रीज इन एल्डोस्टेरोन लेवल्स another one is mentioned increase in anti diuretic hormone levels now the adh is responsible for water reabsorption while aldosterone is responsible for sodium reabsorption so our answer would be increase in aldosterone because this will be causing the absorption of na decrease in aldosterone will rather decrease the reabsorption and decrease in anti diuretic hormones will decrease in the reabsorption of water so our best answer is 1 and we can move on to question 153 question 153 select the correct matching of the type of the joint with the example in human skeletal system now we have two columns type of joint in one and example in another the first one is cartilaginous joint between frontal and parietal now frontal and parietal are skull bones and between them it is fibrous joint and not cartilaginous joint second one pivot joint between third and fourth cervical vertebrae now this pivot joint is actually between the first and second cervical vertebrae that is between atlas and axis third one hinge joint between humerus and pectoral girdle so between humerus and pectoral the joint is the ball and socket joint and lastly the gliding joint between carpals so between the eight carpals in the wrist the joint between them is certainly gliding joint where the bones slide over one another whenever we move the wrist so our answer is gliding joint that is between the carpals so next we can move on to question 154 question 154 stimulation of a muscle fiber by a motor neuron occurs at now here the options the neuromuscular junction transverse tubules myofibrils or sarcoplasmic reticulum now we see that the muscle fiber and neuron they have a junction at the myoneural junction and it is at this location that the neuron would be releasing acetylcholine and which will bind to the receptors and the receptors are present in the sarcolemma so here the best choice is the neuromuscular junction rest of the structures are within the muscle fiber so of course these will be affected later but the neuron will be directly affecting at the neuromuscular junction so after this we can move on to next question 155 question 155 injury localized to the hypothalamus would most likely disrupt now here short term memory now short term memory is a function of hippocampus so of course this cannot be the answer coordination during locomotion this is a function of cerebellum executive functions such as decision making so this is majorly part of the forebrain especially the cerebrum and fourth one regulation of body temperature this is certainly the function of hypothalamus because hypothalamus is the thermoregulatory center of the body it also controls appetite and satiety as well as thirst but here the choice is given for thermoregulation and this we can take our answer so our answer is option 4 that is regulation of body temperature that means the ability to regulate body temperature that is when it is heating up then we bring down the temperature or if it is getting too cold then we increase our body temperature so as to maintain it at a set point that ability will be lost if hypothalamus is injured so now we can move on to question 